In this video, we're gonna talk about five awesome motion design techniques that can be used in any motion graphics project. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So there's a lot of motion graphic techniques, but these are five of my favorite techniques I like to apply to a lot of my motion graphic projects. Usually not all at once, but you know, with a little bit of understanding how these work, you can figure out what's best for you depending on the project you're working for. So let's jump into our tutorial and let's talk about these five techniques and let's get started. All right, we got After Effects loaded up and we'll move over to our tutorial where we only have our title in here. In our first technique, we're gonna create an awesome motion graphic animation, which can be done in a number of different ways. But how we're gonna do it is we're gonna grab the pen tool here, click on the word fill, set it to none, click okay, click on the word stroke and set it to solid color. And we're simply gonna hold, click a point, hold down shift on our keyboard and click another point to draw a straight line like this. Then we'll open up our shape layer, go into add and we'll add a repeater. And we'll open up repeater one, go into transform repeater one, set the X position down to zero and then increase the Y position by a little bit. Then we increase our number of copies and we'll just hit up on our arrow keys and we'll just move this up by a little bit. All right, nice. Now we have a repeated background in here. All we have to do is animate this. So click on the word contents, go to add and let's add a twist. And let's all click the stopwatch for angle and type in wiggle, open parenthesis one comma 20, close parenthesis. We have a little bit of a nice background animation in here. And let's put this layer underneath our title. So in our second technique, I wanna add very subtle animation to our title and there's a variety of different ways we could do this. So let's open up our title layer and let's click on the word animate here and we can add a number of awesome properties. I'm just gonna do position. Uh, we will come here to the position and we can move this over all the way to the right, maybe off screen. Then we'll open up range selector and we can add a keyframe for start and move forward maybe by a half a second and set this up to 100%. So as you can see, this is gonna animate on by characters. So we'll go to the advanced tab and set this to words. You can keep it characters, it's up to you. So now it's gonna go word one, word two, and we'll select both these keyframes and make them easy, ease keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And now we just gotta composite this title on top of our background. So what we're gonna do is grab the rectangle tool here at the top, click on this tool creates mask. So you're not gonna create a shape and we'll simply just create a mask around our title and set that mask to subtract. Now our title is gonna stand out, no problem. All right, looking good. And let's copy this mask layer and then let's go ahead and grab our title, go to layer pre-compose and we can call this title, click OK, and then we'll paste that mask on there and reposition as we see as we need to. And then hit MR keyboard for the mask and set this to add. So now, nice. And then of course, make sure to turn on motion blur and beautiful. Now that we have our background and our title animation here, let's move on to our third technique, which is going to be a very nice subtle text design element where we're going to create these shadows and it's gonna look really nice. So let's go ahead and grab our title layer and let's make sure to pre-compose this and we'll call it title shadow. We'll move all attributes into new composition. Great. Then let's grab the pen tool here and simply we'll just draw a nice mask right over our title like so. So kind of cut this up and then close it off. So now we have just a sliver here. Then we'll duplicate our title. So we go to edit, duplicate and go to the bottom layer, hit MR keyboard and delete the mask one. And then let's go up to effect perspective and let's add a drop shadow. And let's go ahead and change the direction so it's like right underneath there and that's nice. We can increase our softness by a little bit. Maybe it's like 20 or so, maybe 15. Increase the opacity by a little bit to 80%. Then let's go ahead and duplicate our drop shadow. And then let's go ahead and increase the softness by a little bit and we can lower down the distance by a touch. And we'll do one more time, duplicate it again. This time we'll really increase the shadow up to like 500, lower the opacity by a little bit. And now we have a very nice deep cut into our title. Now, what we can do here is we can duplicate this again, you know, grab our mask, delete the mask, and make sure we'll grab our pen tool and we'll just simply draw a mask on top here. And we kind of like angle this downward and close it up. And now we have our shadow down here and that's great. And then we grab our two top layers here, hit MR keyboard, and we'll come to the beginning of our timeline, add a keyframe for mass path for both of these. Go to the end of our animation, and we can animate these by grabbing the selection tool and kind of just move these over by a little bit. This way they'll just animate on our title by a touch. Go to our other layer, and we can just move this around, and this way we'll have 
a little bit of an animation. So in my case, I have a very subtle animation here, but it is moving by a little bit. And that's a nice little touch and design to our title. And before we continue on, I want to give a shout out to one of my favorite packs, which is called Create Pack, which has 3,600 elements pre-made for After Effects, and it comes with its own extension, meaning we can take a look at each of these amazing templates from titles to lower thirds to transitions, backgrounds, animated accent motion graphics, and so much more. And we can easily apply these into our own After Effects composition, which allows us to add more elements that will allow us to create our own unique uh, After Effects composition in any way that we want and by using Create Pack we can save hours of time by using these pre-made elements that are built into After Effects. So if you want to check out Create Pack and take a look at all 3600 elements I will drop a link below and we also did a full review on this pack if you want to learn more. Now in our fourth technique I want to add a little bit of a glitch effect here. It's really easy to do and I always improve on this every time I use it. So let's go up to Layer New Solid and we'll call it Map click OK go up to effect noise and grain and let's add fractal noise and let's set this to max go to noise type and set it to block then let's go ahead and increase the contrast by a little bit and bring down the brightness so until you have some nice darker areas here let's open up transform and let's uncheck uniform scaling and let's really increase the scale width until we have straight bars going across like this and then let's bring down the scale height uh, just by a little bit and then we want to reduce the number of bars in here. So we'll bring down the brightness. Then let's go to the begin our timeline. Let's go to evolution options and add a keyframe for random seed. Move forward to the end of our animation. Let's set the random seed up by a little bit, maybe like, you know, um, 20 to 30. Do 30. Awesome. Then let's pre compose this layer and we'll just call it map. Move all attributes into new comp. Click OK. Then let's go to layer, new adjustment layer. Rename this layer to displace, hide the map layer, and then go up to effect, distort, and we're gonna grab displacement map, change the displacement map layer to the map. And I don't want this to affect the background, so we'll bring our shape layer above our title, or we can just pre-compose this separately, but in my case, I'll just do that. And then simply, we can adjust the max horizontal displacement and the vertical if we want. So now we'll have a little bit of a glitching going on here. And then maybe around a second or so, we'll add a keyframe for max and vertical displacement. And we'll set these down to zero. So it won't do any more of that. So now here's what we have. So we have a little bit of glitch on our title and that looks really nice. And of course, if you want the glitches to be faster, you can just increase the random seed to be at like a higher number. All right, so now let's move on to our fifth and final technique, which is the in and out animations of our entire sequence here. And there's a little bit we can do, and I love these effects. So let's go up to layer new uh, null object, and let's parent everything to our null. And we'll come here at the beginning, we'll just hit Astron keyboard for scale. We'll move this keyframe forward by a little bit, and we'll just, you know, scale in here. You know, so really zoomed in, and then we'll make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe binding F9 on our keyboard. And then let's move here towards the end of our animation. We'll add a keyframe for scale and we'll move forward and scale back in. And then let's go ahead and create a new adjustment layer and go up to effect distort and we're gonna add optics compensation. Let's go ahead and increase the field of view here. We'll go to like 120 or so. And then we'll add a keyframe for field of view. Go to that scale keyframe and set this down to zero. And we'll do the same thing as before. We'll add a like you want keyboard, bring up the keyframes, add a keyframe for field of view at zero at, at the end here. And we will set this back up and it'll appear to be a nice little ball like this. Nice. And then of course, make the two middle keyframes here, easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And then of course, make sure to turn on motion blur for all your layers. And one little extra technique I want to do is go to effects, noise and grain, and I want to add noise. And we'll set this up to like 8%, uncheck use color noise. This way, it just adds a little bit of detail to our title, and I think that looks nice. Now, with all five of these techniques in here, here is what we have, and you know, it looks great, and it's really up to you how you want to use these techniques, whether you want to use only a few of them per project or all of them if it makes sense, so just do what works for your project. So those are our five motion graphic techniques, maybe a little bit abstract, maybe a little not, but hopefully useful. So hope you enjoyed this After Effects tutorial. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on our channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below in the video description and always be creating.